Experiment 9. The speed of light in glass by applying the Snell's law. Objective. This experiment is designed to find the speed of light in glass by applying the Snell's law for refraction. Apparatus required. A transparent glass slab. A soft board. Drawing pins. Common pins, white sheet, protector and a log table. Theory When a ray of light passes from a rarer medium to denser medium, for example, e.g. from air to glass, it deviates from its original path and bends towards the normal. The phenomena of bending of light on changing a medium is termed as refraction. This happens because light travels with different speeds in different material mediums. According to Snell's law, sin i upon sin r is equal to constant 1 mu 2, where 1 mu 2 stand for the refractive index of second medium 2, with respect to first medium 1. Applying Snell's law for refraction at the first surface PQ of the given glass slab. Considering air as the first medium and glass as second medium, we have sin i upon sin r is equal to a mu g, where a mu g stands for refractive index of glass with respect to air. Refractive index in terms of speed of light in different material mediums is given as a mu g is equal to V A upon V G, where V A is the velocity of light in air and V G is the velocity of light in glass. Comparing equations 1 and 2, we have V A upon V G is equal to sin i upon sin r. V G is equal to V A into sin r upon sin i. Procedure Fix the given white sheet of paper on the cardboard using thumb pins. Place the glass slab on the white sheet and mark its outline. Mark the four edges of the glass slab as PQRS. Mark a point O on line PQ at an approximate gap and one third of PQ from P. Draw AO to represent the incident ray at O at an approximate inclination of 45 degree to PQ. Put two common pins P1 and P2 on line AO at a gap of approximately 4 cm. Bring your eye in line with the two images of pins P1 and P2 while looking through the transparent glass slab from the other side. Put a third pin. P3 on the white sheet in such a way that the two images of pins P1 and P2 and pin P3 lie in a straight line as shown in the given diagram. In the same way, put another pin P4 in the line with the two images of pins P1, P2 and of pin P3. Remove the glass slab and encircle the positions of pins P1, P2 P3 and P4. Join P3 and P4 to meet the surface RS of the glass slab at B. Join O to B. OB represents the corresponding refracted ray. Draw a normal at O on PQ. Use a protractor to measure the angle of incidence, angle I, and the angle of refraction, angle R. Record your observation and calculate speed of light in glass slab VG. Repeat the procedure on other sheets of paper, taking incident rays at different angle of incidences and finding corresponding refracted rays. Record your observations and do calculations as follows.
conclusion the speed of light in glass slab as determined by using the above method is found to be dash meter per second